So I'll just tight and breathe at the same time. This is gonna be a fun workout. He's up. We have hit really throughout the entire workout where these compound multi-muscle moves engaging the core and abs will get your heart rate up and then we rest. So high intensity interval, then the rest. And then at the end of a circuit, we will do a really kind of cardio move, low impact. We'll hit it 30 seconds and then we'll go 20. So we can learn it in the 30 seconds, 20 seconds, we gotta go hard. We wanna get that heart rate up, okay? Each circuit starts with a good morning move. I'm gonna use my heavy weight. Now, as we get going, I find the heavy weight becomes too much, I can lighten it. I'm gonna challenge myself to start with a good morning behind the head, elbows back. It's a nice warm up move. We're gonna have our knees slightly bent, hips drive back, nice flat back, drive up, squeeze the glutes, and squeeze that core. All right, here we go. Nice and slow down, nice and slow up, squeeze. Pull the tummy tight, down in the morning, and then up. Now the weight is behind your neck, I want you to relax the neck though, and keep that neck aligned with the spine. So in other words, you're not arching the neck, you're not rounding it, it's just an extension of the spine, it's coming straight out, you're not looking forward, you're looking as you go down here, you're looking down, 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 and you're looking at the mat about two feet in front of your toes. So I'm pulling the tummy tight. Get a nice warm up there. Good. Okay, weight down. All right, do a fun compound move that just kind of put together. We're going to go side lunge. So side lunge, come up, crunch it to the side, crunch it to the front. Stay on one side. Here we go. Over, bring it up, oblique crunch. Out crunch. Over, up, oblique, abs. Upright right here, feel that waistline, and then tummy tight there. Pull that tummy in on that crunch. We're standing crunch, rounding the back while we pull the belly button to the spine. Right here, pull it. Good. Feel the abs start to really warm up as we put them through the ringer here. And good. All right, let's hit the other side. What do you think of that move? I like it. I like it. Deep breath in. I like anything that works my core. It's pretty uh, universal, I think, for all of us. Get ready. Maybe hard work, but we want the results, right? And you know, what do I say? Cindy's got to know. One of my clients. Abs are made in the kitchen. Good food. High fiber. Good nutrition, get rid of the junk, get rid of the sugar, get rid of the processed flours and the white carbs, okay? And that's how you show your ass. Because inflammation comes from sugars and starchy processed foods. Bring down that inflammation, you may not change your weight at all, but you're certainly going to change your form. And your weight will probably adjust down a couple pounds just by getting rid of that water that's being held in your midsection. I have a low medium weight here. And if you're new, grab a chair for balance, okay? I'm gonna do a deadlift, single leg, down, come on up, toe taps behind us. Now, if you're just starting out, this is probably gonna be enough for you. Use the chair to catch yourself if you need to. Standing leg is slightly bent. Abs are tight, working the core. Because you're in balance, right? You feel yourself shake a little bit. Those are your stability muscles. They're your stabilizers. And they're the muscles we want to train so that heaven forbid we were to fall. These stabilizers, their job is to catch that fall, to make it less intense, to make it less serious. Big, big proponent of that on this channel. Let's go to the other side. Deep breath. Here we go. Remember the slight bend of the knee. When it comes up, abs are tight. Use the chair. I certainly don't want you falling here, right? I want you to 
work the muscles that are going to help you should you fall. But there, I just wobbled a little bit. I grabbed my chair. This is a tough move. Slight bend in the knee. I'm really driving my weight through my heel. Getting it out of the front of my foot. Helps me with the balance. And it is hard. But we are worth it. And good. Okay, you ready for our cardio? The last. So, heart rate's up with those compound moves. You want to get it up a little higher. We are going to jack, okay? And arms are going straight up and the leg is coming out to the side. Up, up. Here we go. Up, up. Abs are tight. Move, okay? This whole idea here is low impact. One foot staying on the floor. We need to move to do it. So we're not intense, we're just taking impact out, which we don't need that impact. Especially if you're doing other things that involve impact. If you're a runner, or even if you're a fast walker, a power walker, and you are really pounding that pavement, that's some impact, okay? We don't want your workouts to bring that impact. We want to keep you safe, we want your joints to last for a long time, right? All right, 20 seconds. Hard, okay? Here we go. Push, push. The pace is 20 seconds. Let's do it. Come on, 10 more. Ready for a rest? I'm ready for a rest. Good. I hope you feel it. That's what I want you to feel. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Heart rate up. When you do hit, when you get the heart rate up in intervals, it's as if your heart rate stayed up the entire time. Very close. When you go up and down to keeping that heart rate at that level for the workout. So, when the, I told you, start with the mornings. Feet are pretty close together on this one, though. Okay, here we go. Good morning. We'll bend the knees. Coming up, abs tight. Rear leg raise. Core. Involves your back as well and your glutes. They all tie into your lower back. Feel the lower back work as you do that leg lift. It includes, but also that lower back. One more element of core. And as we work the entire core and strengthen it, not only do your muscles get tight and your waistline gets smaller, especially if you're cutting out that garbage in the kitchen, you also are setting yourself up as you age to really be upright, healthy, strong. No walkers for us, not for a long time, okay? All right, we're tapping back to a kick or a rear lunge. So rear lunge, kick and punch. Go on, rear lunge, kick and punch, or tap, punch, tap, punch. Now, right here, abs, boom, feel it, rear lunge, boom. Get the lunge if you can. It's a little bonus. We're cross-punching, opposite arm to toe. You don't need to kick super high. So you down here. You're just starting out. If you have knee issues, you're tapping back and kicking. Do not do anything that hurts your knees. If you have knee pain, that means stop what you're doing. Okay? There are modifications that you can do to continue a workout without hurting the knees because if you've got pain, there's something going on, okay? It's not anything other than your body talking to you saying, hello, you've got issues, be careful. So take the modifications and use those, okay? Other side, kick it. You can punch, add that punch, power punch here. Abs tight, feel them work across the ab. Lower ab, up to the upper oblique right there. Our inner oblique is going on. You know, your modifications tap. I do this because I need a brick. My heart rate is up. If you feel like you're struggling to talk like I was, that means the heart rate is a little high. So I'm going to bring it down by pulling out of the intensity of the move a little bit. And rest. Oh, that was tough. All right, deep breath. We're going to cross punch. Cross, bring it in, crunch it. Now, a little bit of slow, intense 
intentional work here. Right arm. Punch. In. Crunch. Foot down. Twist. In. Crunch. Good. Nice and slow. We do this as a cardio move sometimes. And this will certainly get your heart rate up. But our goal is glute. Ab. And when I say glute, lower back as well. You can feel on that lower back. We'll get the cardio up even more. That's going to move into the cardio at the end of this circuit. I promise. Boom. Think about rounding your back. Belly button is fine. Flat back. Round. Nice work. Cool. Catch your breath. I like it so far. I feel like heart rate's in a good range. That low end cardio is where you burn the most fat. Ready to the other side? Intentional. Punch. In. Crunch. So, you might burn more calories total. If you were to go out and sprint <laughs> for 30 minutes. I don't recommend that. But, you've only burned 40-50% of your calories from that. Right now, we're burning 75 approximately percent up to 80 of our fat calories. And those are the calories we want to burn, right? We want to burn fat. So, you can protect your joints and burn fat. And, bonus, you are elevating your heart rate so your heart's getting stronger. We want a strong heart, right? It's our most important muscle. In the cardio, punch, punch, cross, cross, down, down. We get to move now, all right? Right arm first. Here we go. Up, up, cross, cross in, down, down. So about the heart, just follow with me here. It is a muscle, and its job is to pump oxygenated blood to your body. So every pump of the heart pumps a certain amount of blood, right? Now, if that heart is weak, it hasn't done cardio work, you haven't strengthened any strength training for your heart, each beat is only pumping a little bit of oxygenated blood. Whereas if your heart is really strong, it beats lots of oxygenated blood going out. So what does that mean? It doesn't have to beat as much, right? Let's go fast here as we work on the heart. Up, up. Cross, cross, down, down. So, basically, you get the heart rate up for a few minutes a day, strengthening the heart, and the rest of the day, it doesn't have to work nearly as hard because every beat is super efficient. And if you think about it, your heart has an infinite, a finite number of beats, right? It's not going to beat forever infinitely. Finite number of beats. So if they don't have to beat as often, your heart's going to last longer. <laughs> and that's a good thing, right? All right, I'm going to go to, um, let's take a minute to give you a wait more time for this good morning. Okay, good morning. So an ugly crunch, okay? Ready? Here we go. Down and up. Crunch it. Lean from the shoulder. Elbow beneath the knee. Looks like should have switched sides. Switch sides. So you're on your right side, left side. I'm just get so excited talking about heart because I do love to think about that. Like, you say, well, I'm you know, getting my heart way up doing the work. But it really, if you think about it, 24 hours in a day, it's only 148 of the day, a half hour, and that'll leave your heart rate. So the other 47 elements of the day, if it's beating 10 beats less every time, wow, that's cool. All right, grabbing your weight, light weight. Follow me, right knee up, this is your front raise. Now, knee out to the side, back to the front, and down. Modify, toe on the floor, knee comes out to the front, and I didn't switch again, I'm sorry. Right side. This is an alternating move. Other side. Up. Out. Roll down. Up. Keep that toe on the ground if you are a beginner. You're still getting core action. You should feel it. Bonus. Working with the shoulders and the balance. See? Balance is the key. 
Commander asks, all right, I, I messed side to side up there, but I think we got the, we got the gist of that, right? All right, heavyweight. You have options for every heavyweight. If you have 15 to 20, so you're more advanced, you can do this or that. You're going to do alternating your weekly with a pulse. Three, two, one, and up, other side. Up. Work in the waistline. The shoulders do not lift here. Okay, you're lifting from the waist. Think about that right here. Lift from the waist. Pull the tummy tight. Engaging those muscles, training them to be where you want them, right? Which is sucked in. Nice and tight. So if you pull them tight, you're teaching them. So it's all about training your muscles to behave how you'd like. Whether that's for athletic purpose, or just how you look. That's what training is all about. All right, way down, back to that cross punch. This time, we're not doing the front crunch. We're using those obliques like we just did, over oblique. Ready? Here we go. Punch in, oblique, with intention, okay? Push, pull, crunch it. That's tight. Come on. Then from one body. Denise Austin said this on a video. Back before I was a trainer. My daughter, my oldest daughter, Michelle, she's 31 now. She was a toddler. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I stopped. I thought we were on zero there, press. And I started doing a VHS tape, Denise Austin. And one of the things that she repeated to me every morning, was God gave you one body. That's all you got. Let's go to the other side. You need to take care of it. Okay, that is your biggest, your number one responsibility. We think about all the other people we're responsible for, our families, right? Our jobs, church, volunteer work, whatever you do. You're responsible to that. Be responsible to yourself. Take care of your body so it will take care of you. Every day is a day closer <laughs> to the end, okay? Think about it that way. Make that end be as far away as it possibly can be by keeping your body healthy and strong. Does not mean, and I'm certainly somebody who can attest to this, it does not mean you won't get sick or you won't have a problem like my back or any cancer. But it will mean you're going to recover from that. All right, we've got a jack, kick and punch. Ready? Jack, punch, another side. You're recovering from something like that, especially as we're older. Think about when we're 70, 80, 90. Yeah, that's, yeah, the potential is on the table if you take care of yourself. When you get sick, if you get sick, you're going to be stronger for any surgery you need, any treatment you need. You start with a strong body. To get through it much easier than somebody who's starting with a body that they haven't taken care of. Gosh, doesn't that, doesn't that give you incentive and motivation? Boy, just me, I'll tell you. All right, here's our last. Here we go. I've seen it in myself with my back. I never thought six months post surgery, back fusion, I'd be here with you like this right now. But I have no pain, very careful, but my recovery was awesome. Lots of people take over a year to even get to the point where they can do things that we're doing before surgery. Maybe three to four months. So it's a big difference in time. That's seven, eight months I got back in my life that other people maybe don't. So I'm going to be keeping my body strong for future because Something else may happen, I want to be ready for it. All right, good morning. As we come up out of the good morning, elbows stay back, bicycle crunch, okay? Lower abs, crisscross, cross and lower abs. So good morning, twist it. And twist it. Come on, come on. Almost there. 
hope you're feeling the body work, feeling the heart work, all the good stuff you're doing. You're your final circuit here. We're almost done. We made it, right? Yeah, good. All right, I'm going to grab my chair for this next one. You're here. Have your chair. You are more advanced. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a chair available. We're going to start with our knee up. We're going to swing through. Donkey kick. So, ready? Knee up, abs tight. Swing through, donkey kick. Up to the ceiling. Keep your back nice and straight for this entire move. Keeping that knee 45 degree angle. The entire move. I'm holding my chair. This is hard. <laughs> I'm holding it lightly because there is support. Kind of a safety blanket. As I work this balance, stability, core, lower back, abs right here. What's going on? And the rest. All right. All right, you guys. You made it to the final circuit. We get to do this fun stuff. Oh my goodness! I am listening. Are you listening? You're listening. I want to hear about it. Okay, ready? Knee up. Leave me comments. Love your comments. And back. And up. And back. Respond to all comments, usually within 24 hours. And comment at 6 Eastern time. US. Or maybe you already commented. And it might take me until the following morning when I go to my comments again. But if I see. Comments are building up. I try and check a couple times a day, and I'm gonna have to do more and more of that as we grow up, which is exciting. I'm going to be focusing more and more on my YouTube channel right now. It's a part time love affair. I love it, but it's part time. I am working full time and doing this on the weekends. I'm to do more of this. All right, are you ready? We're gonna tap back, crunch across, tap. Crunch. Now don't go into lunge here. Tap, crunch, tap, crunch. Standing foot, balance. Abs are tight. If you hold those abs tight, so support this move. Twist with it though. Twist. And twist across. Getting the lower obliques in the spinal circuit here. Almost there. Come on. Ooh, this is hard. I haven't used a lot of weight in this workout, right? Still hard. Using our body weight. Ooh, hand rest. All right, other side. Deep breath. And that is moving on me a little bit. Doesn't really matter right now, but when I add it and then start to look crooked, it drives me nuts. All right, ready? Tap back. Tap. Twist. Put your balance, touch your balance like I just did if you need to. Hold that core tight. Okay, core is nice and tight here. Almost there, come on. This is our final strength hip move. We'll do our two cardios and we'll stretch. Can you hear me breathing? Ooh. About three seconds here. Let's do it. Rest it. Final cardio. Deep breath. Abs tight. Rotation hooks. So we're going to tap the foot. Bring in that core. We'll start with your right arm first. Elbow stays 90 degrees. Power. 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 Abs tight. Feel those abs work. Smile. I'm smiling because we made it. We are almost going to stretch. That's the best part of the workout, right? And rest. Oh, 20 seconds of that. Lots of power. When we're done, tell me what you think. Do you like these core element workouts? Doing them a lot. Get ready. I'm trying to really focus on core balance and stability, strength, 
course, we focus on everything else as well. But they show up pretty frequently. Do you like them? Do you feel like you're benefiting from them? Let me know. And if you say no, that's okay. Tell me what's going on. Okay, I want to help you. I want to help you get the most out of your time here. All right, deep breath. How do you feel? Do you feel accomplished? Are you jumping over? I hope so. Ah. Feel that stretch along the body. Get your breath. So this was an all-standing workout. Not all of my workouts are all standing. I have some of you that comment, I really like to get down on the mat. And some of you that comment, I love all standing. Um, there are lots of reasons for both. And you know, I have all space and the ability to get up and down, that kind of thing. So if you're looking for workouts that are on the mat as well, they're here. You know, across, drop your shoulder. And then there are the all standings as well. So when you're standing through a workout, your heart rate's higher. Lay down on the mat, it does go lower. It doesn't mean you don't get benefit from that work. You need to get down on the mat to do a lot of core work. Uh, stretching arms, sorry. I had someone comment, please tell us when you're stretching, when you switch sides. And that's a good comment. You know, I appreciate that because try and be more mindful of that. Maybe your eyes are closed, you're breathing, you're resting, which I want you to do. Let's go T stretch here, reach back. So your comments help me. They really do. Let's put your hands on your upper lower thighs, I should say. And round your back. Pull that belly button into the spine here. Rounding that lower back all the way up the back to the neck and across the shoulders. Reverse this. Bring the head up out of the neck. The neck up out of the torso. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Round the back. One more time. Arching the back, lifting the head out of the neck. Deep breath. Exhale. Round it. Keep rounding all the way up. Let's step to one side and stretch that inner thigh. Remember those side lunges up to the oblique crunch, to the forward crunch? That was kind of cool. I like that move. Let's go to the other side. Stepping back, toe comes up, stretch the back of the leg into that glute. That did a lot of work. Let's go to the other side. Okay, come on up. Let's do a shoulder, shoulder roll first. Roll it out. Roll it forward. Good, now squeeze forward and back and forward. Pull the tummy tight, open it up loose. Tight, loose, tight, loose. Bring one ear to the shoulder, stretching out that neck. So I'm glad you're here with me now at the end. Good for you. If you made it this far, you did a great job. Other side. Now in general, I did that was my best workout. Any workout is a good workout. Some days are better than others. You're finishing a workout. Good for you. Bring your head up. Deep breath. If you have not subscribed, exhale. Please subscribe to my channel. Deep breath. We're growing every day. It's so fun to see that more and more women are joining us. And exhale. Please be a part of our community. When you open your YouTube page, you'll see the latest video there. That's what happens when you subscribe. There's no cost to subscribe. It's just letting me and YouTube know you like the content. Leave the comments below and I'll see you next time.